welcome to my session. How is everyone doing? Come on, you can put it in the live chat. I am right there watching the session, watching it along with you and watching the live chats also. So I hope all of you had a blast of a day today. Here we are with yet another session and today's session topic is something very interesting. So it is education versus hobbies. Which one is important or are they both equally important? So this is what we're going to discuss today. So it's going to be an amazing session. Hold on. And to everyone who is new to this platform, who is new to this entire channel. So this is about me. My name is Hari Priya and I will be your maths master teacher here in Vedantu. And in four years of my teaching experience, I have mentored and tutored thousands of beautiful students like you. And also helped a lot of them, 400 upon 100 in their maths exam. As you can see, I have done my master's in mathematics. So you know the love I have towards this subject. And I am here to imbibe the same kind of love towards the subject for each and every one of you watching this session. Right? So welcome. And if you're new to the session, do not new to this entire Vedantu uh, YouTube channel, that is Vedantu Young Wonders, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon because we are going to come up throughout the week, the entire academic year, we're going to come up with amazing videos like this, both academic and non-academic, right? So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. That is very important. The more you share the videos, the more we know, okay, yes, so many people are loving us and likes also describe how much you people love us and don't forget to subscribe as well. But let's begin the session because I know all of you are eagerly waiting. Ma'am, is education important or following passion or hobbies is important, right? So we're going to discuss uh, very crisply about it so that at the end of the session, at the end of the session, I'm so sorry. So yeah, the, at the end of the session, you will be knowing, ki, yes, what is more important? Is it education or is it only hobbies? Now, so the topic is education versus hobbies. Let's begin. At the end of the session, I'm going to tell you how I manage my work and hobbies together. So everybody who follow me on Instagram, you, uh, you know uh, how, uh, you know, I wail away my time when it comes to holidays and all. How do I manage my work and my hobbies? So this will come at the end of the session. So stay tuned till the end. For you, it is education versus hobbies. But for me, since I'm done with my education, thank God. So it is, for me, it's my work versus the hobbies, right? Now, the first question. When I say education, so what was in your mind? Okay, textbook, padho, uh, you know, NCR, NCERT, yeah, CB, uh, you know, state board you belong to, whatever, right? So the question here is, is education all about studying from textbooks? So when I say you should be educated, does it only mean that you should uh, be well aware of what is there in your maths textbook? What is there in your science or social science textbook? Let's answer that. Let's see how education and hobbies impact your life. And when I say education, what exactly do I mean? Do I only mean math textbook, science textbook, this syllabus, that syllabus? Or do I mean something more than that? So we're going to see that starting off with the first giveaway of the session, first takeaway of the session, wait till the end to get a perfect, amazing brownie recipe. This was one of my hobby that I, uh, you know, inculcated during this lockdown when we were stuck at home and had nothing to do. Right? So wait till the end of the session for a perfect brownie recipe. Now, what is important? Education. Is education important? What is the importance of education in our life? Is what we're going to see first. Okay. So when I talk about education, the first thing everybody uh, will tell you, why, why do you need to be educated? Because it is something which teaches values of life. Right. Education is something that teaches values of life. It gives a roadway to move towards the success. OK, you know, you want to become an astronaut. You want to become a mathematician. You know which subject to be you know, very good with. You know what books to study. You know what courses to take. You know what you have to learn and do all of it. So basically, it's a roadway towards your success. And without education, most of the time, we cannot make the right decision of our life. Your parents are educated. That's why they have made this perfect decision for you to put in Vedantu or whatever. For, you know, put you in the right school, put you in the right kind of edu education that you need. Everything that you need. Why? Because education actually helps us take right decisions in our life. And last but not the least, education helps you judge our interests and hobbies too. 
is it is this hobby important is this important if i learn this what will happen if i learn guitar will it be useful if i learn how to swim will it be useful right so basically education also helps us judge is this important right now at this stage of our life is it important or not right so that is a bit about uh, is education important or what is the importance of education now let's also talk about what is the importance of hobbies in our life okay so when you look at the first point it helps us develop our innate powers when i talk about innate innate means inborn naturally so few people are naturally gifted with uh, painting you know they can paint and draw really well few people are naturally gifted and they are gifted dancers few people sing very beautifully right so every single person every student watching this session you also have a natural power within yourself it's just that it will take time to uh, understand what is it to know what is it but how will we know it only when you experiment right so i have heard this news piece from somewhere where they told ki there's this lady who tried everything only once and if she failed for the first time she never tried it again i do not believe in that put it in the comment section and tell me do you think what she did was right she only tried for example she only tried painting only once on the canvas and maybe she did not succeed so she thought okay i'm not good at it and she left it there she started cooking so maybe it didn't come out tasty so she left the cooking there so this was a very old news piece that i have started but do you think what she did was right do you think ki you just try it once and that's it it's done if you're not good at it you're not good at it is it true i don't believe in that personally because i was not good at anything in the in the beginning but i started painting i started cooking i started baking and over the period of time i did a lot of mistakes bahut khana maine jala diya hai i forgot to put sugar in baking or whatever i had my own mist i did my own mistakes but i learned from those mistakes right so it's important that you keep trying till you think yes you have reached the point where you have perfected it right the second point is all these hobbies that we inculcate are the best substitutes of play at the as adolescent or the adult level now all of you are kids right so pehle pre covid era mein hum log kya karte the we used to go out and play in the playground it was very amazing but as you grow as you grow you cannot go out in the playground and play because maybe your work does not allow you to do that or the amount of study that you have to do the amount of syllabus that you have to complete maybe it won't allow you to do that but so these hobbies that you inculcate right now at the childhood will help you really well when you go and you know maybe you're doing your job and when you get leisure time in between and you do not waste your time so i am a person who thinks ki if i get a holiday especially on sundays i feel i have to utilize it to the maximum because weekdays me usually we take sessions we have our work to do at office right so whenever i get a national holiday or a sunday i always make sure that i do something or the other painting baking cooking uh, gardening or something so right i'm going to show you a few photos a few glimpses of what i have done during the lockdown and whenever i had leisure time at the end of the session so hold on right there the third point is these provide relief from dull and dreary work of the school the assignments of the school the tests of the school the homework the class work the studies the syllabus unit tests slip tests what not so this will actually give you a break from all that monotonous school work and will uplift your mood also especially for me it's like that and these would solve your problems of spending leisure hours if you're thinking acha mere paas to bahut time hai ab main kya karu so that's where your hobby is coming to picture that's why you can sit paint you can sit and do gardening you can sit and uh, what anything uh, like cook or bake or want to learn something new there are lot of things that you can learn when it comes to hobbies right so what i want to conclude here is i'm not saying ki only uh, what do you call it education is important yeah only uh, following hobbies is important there should be a perfect equilibrium between them there should be a perfect balance which is very necessary you have to maintain between both your education and your hobbies and only then this will help you for your overall growth as a person so remember both education is important hobbies is also important so for example uh, maybe after your half yearly exams or annual exams you have this relaxation period right so during those period don't worry about what is the next topic what is that we have to do which test don't worry about education relax 
take a chill pill take a break for a week and follow your hobbies follow your passion so you have to find those small small spaces between your education to make sure you utilize it from apart from education our final exams are round the corner agle ek mahine mein final exams hai tab baithe ke ab hobbies mat karna theek hai then you have to concentrate on your education so you need to know how to balance it out very well now let's see how i managed my work and hobbies so first i'm going to talk about my work i love my job i love my job because you know it in the morning i wake up i see how to present the content i see how interesting can i make the sessions you know all that thought process it makes me so happy and at the end of the day when i see all the beautiful faces of my students during the session and when they say ma'am you're perfect i understood everything that you taught and you know it it actually makes you feel very nice you know you happily sleep at night especially me i'm very contented to, in what i'm doing so very important whatever you are studying whatever you're doing future maybe if you're doing any job make sure you're happy in that job you are, make sure that you're happy because only when you're happy you can give your 100% you can see every teacher in vedantu they always make sure that they give you a 100% because why because we all love our job we all love teaching you and the appreciations that you give the compliments that you give it's it just adds it's like a fuel to us and that makes us more energized right so with that don't forget if you have anything to say put it in the comment section and do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel because we are coming up with amazing content like this now starting off with my hobbies i love to paint i'm not a good painter at all i'm not i'm i'm not that good of an artist okay but i have learned few techniques i have watched youtube videos and learned few techniques and here and there i've learned few so i try to use them only i am a crazy stationery fan so i keep buying different kinds of stationeries and all so i have a lot of pens here and recently i have bought this very cute little uh, calculator thumb uh, you know post it notes so i buy a lot of things like that so uh, related to art or stationery or not so one of my very favorite hobbies is to paint and then i have painted a lot of them these are few of what i have painted you can follow me on instagram also Priya dot Vedantu. So there, I keep, uh, you know, I keep posting whatever new I've tried. It may be dancing, it may be painting, it may it may be cooking something or anything, right? And I have also uh, imbibed this love towards plants. So I didn't know I, but I was very scared to actually grow a plant because many plants have already died, and I was really sad about it. But few few plants i have recognized ki yes you know they need less maintenance and all i have tried and try to grow them in different parts different places of my house and i have also come across a very super power in me that i did that i never knew that is of baking and cooking i started cooking because of the lockdown and no cook and all of that i used to live alone so i started baking and cooking and as i'm not i will not say first me i made such amazing noodles yeah such amazing brownies no I did a lot of trial and error. A lot of time it failed. A lot of time it did not taste good. I had to throw it away. But I was determined that no, I must learn it. I want to be perfect in this. So this is one of the superpowers that I have come across. Now, what are your views on the topic? What do you think? I have told you that you have to balance it. But what do you think? Is education important? Is hobbies important? Is following your hobbies or passion follow karna important? Hai? So put your views in the comment section right now after the videos. I will be there and I will be replying back to all those comments. So don't forget to comment and uh, under the video and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And there are a lot of people who asked for a uh, weekly cal weekly schedule of mine. So this is the schedule that I want you people to uh, what do you call it take uh, take and take a screenshot or whatever. So the next class I'm going to have on 22nd of uh, May at 2 p.m. It's going to be live. It's going to be an academic session. 22nd I'm so sorry 20th of May 2 p.m live academic session hoga 22nd ko bhi academic session hoga okay so these are the this is my weekly schedule that we have so please make sure that you take a screenshot of it and please make sure that you are right there in the session now this is really disturbing so let me just hmm, close the tab here okay let's get back again i'm so sorry for this but yeah so this is my weekly schedule Now, पहले क्लास में मैंने क्या बोला था आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ परफेक्ट रेसिपी फॉर मेकिंग अ ब्राउनी सो द वेट इज ऑलमोस्ट ओवर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द परफेक्ट रेसिपी बट बिफोर दैट डिड यू लाइक द सेशन डू यू वांट टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ द फैमिली दैट वी आर आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ 
and you want to join us and gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks in every particular chapter as or sorry, every particular subject if yes you have come to the right place compete with students throughout the world all over india throughout the world you can compete with students and we have come up with an amazing thing called vidantu improvement promise vip now what is this promise that we are making what is what is that we are uh, promising you about i'm going to tell you but before that let me talk about the pro subscription that you can take the link is in the description below it is pinned in the live chat also you can uh, click on that there will be a new tab which in, which will open up i will show you how to go about the process just give me 2 minutes okay so what are are we offering here unlimited live classes and fun filled high level quizzes will be there and uh, that will help you to actually you know fasten your speed especially when it comes to mathematics interactive replays with live quizzes and leaderboard just in case you have missed the class maybe because uh, uh, internet issues or maybe you were not present at that time you can replay the session do the quizzes again and be on the leaderboard again right and premium downloaded content with handwritten notes by our uh, by our own master teachers so whatever we are teaching during the session everything handwritten will be given to you if you are watching this alone bring your parents also make them sit and make them uh, watch this because at the end they are the ones who are going to take the decision right so quickly call your parents because this will blow their mind right so they'll be in the class doubt solving and outside post class doubt solving also with quality test and assignments because guys test and assignments though you hate it are very important to make sure that what are your weaknesses what are your strengths and how can you how can you overcome your weaknesses so for that test and assignments play a very important role and once you enroll for this pro subscription for uh, for one year or for you are trying out for one month there will be free unlimited micro courses and crash courses so ye micro courses kya hai micro courses is there is one topic say whole numbers for grade 6 you do not know you you missed it in your school ya kuch ho gaya but you want to do it again so just you can do those micro courses again for free one chapter at a time you can do it again and again as live classes not recorded at all live classes for free and you will be also be prepared for free crash courses for both and many competitive exams and olympiad exams also the best part about this is the more classes you do the more micro courses you take the more classes you do basic basically the lesser price you are paying so just visit the link in the description below and is pinned in the comment section also and use the coupon code yhpro now i'm going to go and i'm going to um, take you through a tour on my screen here just give me a minute i am going to disappear for now and let me see did i disappear yes i did okay so this is the page that you'll come across when you put up put down the link in the when you click on the link in the description below here is where you can edit the class that you want to uh, enroll for it can be grade 6 7th 8th 9th 11th 12th cbse icse or maharashtra board and get started okay so as you scroll down you can see there are three plans that for you to choose pro light pro classic pro premium har is mein my coupon code is already applicable already applied and is giving you 10% discount now what is the difference between them so as you can see pro light has uh, does not have doubt solving on mobile app and also do not have an access to personal mentor pro classic has access to doubt solving on mobile app and premium has a personal mentor so what does this personal mentor do every child is special to focus on video which will be telling you what exactly a personal mentor does right so click on anything how notes and assignments are going to be given how live interactive classes is going to take place everything is already given now as you can see you can try it out for one month here or you can buy the complete course if you are uh, confident enough and remember only when you are buying your complete course is where vip is applicable vidantu improvement promise what is that i'm going to talk about it so here you can try it out for one month you can see the amazing uh, top teachers who are going to teach you here and also you will be having a timetable fixed already so you can fix these time tables time timings are fixed you just have to again take down the live classes the notes will be given to you replays will be given to you everything is already sorted so you can purchase according to what you need 
try it for one month and you will be getting additional courses like i talked about the vedantu micro courses yeah crash courses and for olympiads and lot more like this right now coming back to this here so i have told you how amazing this entire thing is let's just talk about the vedantu improvement promise right coming back again now what is this vedantu improvement promise it's the vip so we are promising here we have come here to ensure and assure your progress when you are with us for the entire academic year we believe if we if uh, the you know the improvement can be measured if we can improve you know measure how much you have improved and all we can also make sure that you are improving in your uh, what do you call it let it be anything it can be uh, marks wise it can be personality wise it can be anything so guaranteed improvement in your child's school and board exams the tests that you take okay and guaranteed improvement in vedantu's benchmark test so this benchmark test will be conducted when you are joining in vedantu and when you are about to leave vedantu so we are going to compare these two and we are promising you that there is going to be definitely a improvement and if there is no progress you will be getting the course fee that you paid all back no questions asked so commitment needs to be a helping hand here so guys it's not only one show business only we are not the people who will be taking up this we want you also to help us to get through this it's a 50 50 uh, you know what do you what do you call it i don't know i don't have a word for it but yeah it's basically both of our responsibility you also should attend 75% of the classes so if 25% attendance is attendance is mandatory and also 75% completion of the assigned tests that we are going to give you during this entire one year ka process okay so our promise assured in case of the performance improvement is not as per your expectations we will return the course fee that you paid us in the beginning of the academic year no questions asked whatsoever so the vedantu pro subscription the batches are going to start this is for grade 6 7th and 8th they're going to start for cbse on 24th may and for icsc on 7th june and 10th may and for cbse 17th may also the batches are going to start do not miss out on this opportunity try it out first give it a try for one month the coupon code is already applied y h p r o so try it for one month if you feel ki yes ye bahut hi acha platform hai trust me the platform is on point okay so you can enroll for the next academic year also just visit the link in the description below or it is pinned in the live chat and don't forget to use the coupon code yhpro and here we go with the perfect brownie recipe let me tell you a very a very nice tip here don't forget to add a pinch of salt because it will enhance the taste of the chocolate right so this is a perfect brownie recipe i hope you had a lot of fun in today's session a lot of take away from today's session so aram se you can again make your uh, parents watch this session especially where we are going to uh, you know where we talked about the pro subscription and the vedantu uh, improvement promise the vip you can show it to them and be a part of our family i'm looking forward to meet each and every one of you in our very interactive live classes yahan pe kya ho raha hai main bug bug kar rahi hu aap sun rahe ho maximum chat mein aap type kar rahe ho par hamare platform mein we can see each other also i guess i've shown you a photo there where all my students are also there and we are posing and all so it's going to be super duper fun so if you love this video if you loved uh, how i uh, you know talked about uh, education versus hobbies don't forget to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are coming up with amazing contents like this academic and non academic if you want me to do a particular video that you want to see next do not forget to put it in the comment section right now so that we can uh, bring up with content like that and come up with that video next week so don't forget to like share and subscribe you people were amazing today and you can follow me on instagram haripriya.vedantu right so while this session is premiering i'm going to be there live talking to all of you so see you all in my next class until then bye bye and take